Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here trying to switch my background color, but I don't know what is happening with my computer. My goodness. Su imagen está rara. Sí, esto, eso es lo que estoy mirando, que me veo hasta con unas letras en el, en el rostro. Como en tercera dimensión. No me quiere mi máquina hoy. Is tired. <laughs> it is tired. I don't know why. The problem is that in order to fix it, I need to turn off the program. And I don't want to do that. I want to stay today in this with this background. Ya lo tenía ajustado, pero no sé. No sé por qué no me lo acepta. Hay algo que no me deja hacer. Ni modo. Maybe it has to do with, with my camera or something like that. I don't know. Y es, es la máquina la que está como lenta, ¿no? I'm going to close a lot of programs that I got here. Because it's the first day of the class, but that is the reason why. Pero es que se ha puesto en huelga porque es el primer día. Ah, here we go. We are almost ready.
Almost done. Very good. And you? Fine. All my ready. Very well. <laughs> Pretty nice. <laughs> Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. We got 12. I'm still waiting for the rest. Welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you. Uh, today we are going to start a new module um, and I hope that all of you can understand exactly what I'm going to say. Of course, that all of you are going to have this opportunity to speak with me and, and share with the classmates. I'm going to try to be very clear when I explain a topic. You already know me that I let you ask questions when you have some doubts. And so please, uh, what I want to ask you is just that uh, involve in the class, try to participate on it. I don't know why, what, what is happening with my computer. I was proving a pair of hours ago and I got everything set. But right now I, I'm having a kind of problem in order to put the background of the company. Okay, ahorita se mira bien, pero cuando ya Elijo el, el, el background de la compañía, ya no se ve muy bien. No sé por qué. No me da la opción de cambiar. Y es que había una actualización y eso quizás fue lo que me lo dejó así. Porque cuando lo, le ubico el, el background, me salen unas letras en la frente, una mancha. You see? Me veo pintado como que sí. Yes, teacher. My goodness. Ok, I'm going to leave it uh, today in this way. Se va a quedar así el día de hoy. Sí, tuve una actualización temprano. Pero no sé qué pudo haber sucedido porque hace un par de horas lo probé y estaba todo bien. Pero bueno, la tecnología funciona de esa manera. Uh, the most important thing is that all of you are here and we are going to start module three. And um, as I told you at the beginning, uh, I would like that in this module, all of you uh, participate and that way you are going to have the chance to develop the skills. That that is the main purpose. Let me see, I got 13 now, okay. Let me see the list. Déjame ver la lista de asistencia. But at the same time, I need to have the books. Okay, before to check out the attendance, I would like to be sure that all of you got the material. Antes de pasar la lista, me gustaría estar seguro de que todos ya descargaron el material. Do you have it, all of you? Yes, teacher. No teacher. Okay. Si alguien no lo tiene, por favor, ahorita me lo puede decir para compartirse. Pero si ya todos lo tienen. Teacher, I don't have the material. Ah, okay, you don't got the material. Okay, let me see if I can share it.
Let me try to get it. Okay, I'm going to share it in, uh, in the WhatsApp group. Ok, en lo que me carga el WhatsApp, eh, vamos a pasar la lista. Teacher, material in, in the platform or no, other... No, no, no. no, talking about the book. Hablando del libro. Ah, ok. We are talking about the book. Estamos hablando del material, del libro, para que todos al momento de referirnos al material podamos, uh, podamos entrar en, en, y verlo. Yeah, I got it. Let me share it here. Okay, one second, por favor. Ok, trate de verlo, caballero, ahí, por favor, y me avisa si es posible que lo pueda descargar de ahí. Ok, en lo que revisa yo paso la lista. Adriana del Carmen. Aquí presente. Buenas noches. Ok, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Marie, Mariela. Present. Eh, Carlos Escobar. Present. Welcome, sir. Claudia Raquel. Claudia Raquel. It's not here. Uh, she has problem with his her audio. With her connection. Yes, she wrote in the chat. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to check it. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Francis? Present teacher. Francis, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. It is to Yvette. You. It is Yvette. I don't understand. It is Yvette Arevalo. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present, Mr. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present, teacher. Welcome, sir. Thanks. Laura. 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 María Concepción. Present, teacher. 
Welcome. Thank you. Maria Elena. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Mayra Beralice. Mayra, Mayra. Mayra. It's not there. Saira. Saira. Eliana. Are you there, Saira? No? No, today we are going to have two Saira's. Saira Marleni. Saira Marleni. Misael Cañas. It's not here. Wendy. Teacher present. No podía activar el micrófono. What's your name? Saira me. es teacher. But, but I, 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 teacher. I got Saira. two I got two Sairas. Tengo dos Sairas hoy. Necesito diferenciar una y otra. Saira Eliana o Saira Marlene? Saira Marlene. Ah, okay, Larin, Larin. Okay, Wendy Maribel. Larin, Larin. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Wendy Maribel is there, Jenny? Present. Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia. Yesenia. Not there. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher, good evening. There, welcome, sir. Mario Ernesto. Here, teacher. Okay. Uh, let me see you, your faces. Okay. I need to be sure. I make sure all of you. Necesito estar seguro si los mencioné a todos. Ok, ok, mutiemos por favor los fonos. Los micrófonos, por favor. Quiero mí. I'm going to do it. Ok, thank you. Ok, um, ¿a alguien no mencioné? Okay, let me see the chat now. Veamos el chat que dice. Alguien tiene problemas, dice. Sí, María Elena, Claudia, good evening. I had trouble with my audio. Ah, okay, tiene problemas. A few minutes, I open my camera. I don't hear my class. Mm, my goodness. But the problem is there in your computer because all of you can hear me very well, right? Yes. Okay. Let me see where we are going to start talking about it. I wonder why I got only just 14. No sé por qué tengo solo 14 asistencias. Maybe, yeah, but in the chat, you already got the messages that we start today. And I guess that all of you know about that. Let me try to do this first. Okay, for the new ones, I'm going to give you some information. In fact, I don't like to talk about myself, you know? <clears throat> but 
it is mandatory that I have to do it because it's part of the program that we need to follow. Okay, this is uh, intermediate module number three. Welcome. I'm going to share with you some um, information about myself. In fact, you can see it's there. Uh, as I told, I don't, I don't like to talk about myself, but well, um, talking about my profession and my job, I've been working in different universities, like University of El Salvador, and at the same time in some private university in the area where I live. And also I've been working as an English teacher in a public school. I, I, I got the chance to study abroad also in um, university. And right now I'm still studying in the University of El Salvador. It's a different career score, but um, I'm in the way trying to get more knowledge about this. Uh, profession. And uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I'm still studying also in INSA4. <clears throat> and well, I guess that is going to be better if you talk. about the requirement that you are going to have about this uh, module are in Spanish in order that uh, all of you can see it very well and understand it. Los requerimientos, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma, en el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyentes luego de su nombre. Y algo muy importante que yo sé que a veces uh, no es muy, muy como, no sé, I, I don't know how to say this in Spanish, but sometimes uh, we tend not to do it con la cuestión de la cámara encendida durante todas las sesiones. Es lo que pide el programa. Es parte de lo que Insafor pide. Minimizar el sonido del ambiente lo más posible. Eh, algunas veces es difícil. Y lo más importante, no me lo he inventado yo, sino que la participación activa de ustedes es muy importante. Uh, in order that you can develop uh, your skills. And me gustaría que alguien me lea, por favor, en la columna de la izquierda para que así vayamos interactuando todos. Ya saben que no me gusta pasar hablando solo a mí, sino que esto es un trabajo en conjunto con ustedes. Así es que necesito un voluntario o voluntaria que me quiera leer Lo de la izquierda, donde dice asistencia, etcétera, etcétera. Mi teacher, Francis. Oh, ok, ok. Asistencia al 100% de las clases. Okay. La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. Solo eso. Ok, si sí. you, you want, you can continue with the, with the, mm -hmm. the next one. Mm -hmm. La asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, 8, 9, 9.55 pm. ¿Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o presente y tener la cámara encendida? Tener cámara encendida. Ok, eso se los muestro ahí para que eh, no vayan a decir de que, de que a veces eh, soy yo el que insisto, sino que me gusta cumplir lo que, las reglas que ya se han puesto, ¿sí? Eh, ¿Me lee el último, por favor? Ok, teacher. Sesiones una a una disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Permisos no disponibles. Ok, con esa parte última ustedes ya comprenderán. Así es que, I'm sorry. But rules are rules and we need to follow. Necesitamos como, ahora con lo relacionado a las sesiones uno a uno, eh, algunas veces yo sé que tal vez no tengan alguna pregunta porque todos lo han comprendido, pero al menos ah, tómense el tiempo para 
poder hacer eh, o aclarar o algo, hacer algún comentario que, que venga con el que estamos llevando. Porque eh, si ustedes se dan cuenta, eh, llevamos como un orden y cada uno está establecido el día que le corresponde. Pero a veces sucede que antes de que eso pase, antes de que se cierre la sesión con todos, cuando ya saben que les corresponde, algunos se salen. Entonces yo comprendo que algunas veces eh, estamos más cansados y, y todos tenemos cosas que hacer. I understand that. But so please, I need that you be part of this process too. Necesito yo por todos los medios que también seamos parte de eso. Ok, um, talking about tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% del promedio de las tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes. Eh, a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Luego, con las fechas que aparecen ahí, no se preocupen porque ahí lo que hemos hecho solo es tomar como el modelo. Eh, talking about the platform and talking about Zoom, el botón silencio, mute, camera, chat. Cuando los envía breakout room, as soon as you get the invitation, so please click on. Tan pronto eh, se hagan eh, breakout room, por favor, acepte la invitación. Parta con sus compañeros. Use el botón de ask for help if you have any questions. Y acuérdese que a veces los grupos se hacen uh, automáticamente. ¿Sí? Se hacen automáticamente, pero eh, bueno, algunas veces he visto que tal vez no, no, no. Con la persona asignada como que no les es muy grato, ¿no? Pero debemos de compartir con todos. Yo les digo a cada clase que yo doy, yo siempre aprendo mucho de ustedes. Estoy en el proceso aprendiendo algo nuevo. No quiere decir de que ya todo está, sino que esto es así. Y en el caso de un idioma es, es precisamente eh, igual que otra carrera que hay que estarse actualizando con nuevas estructuras, nuevas palabras y tantas cosas ¿no? entonces pedirles de favor que cuando les pida que trabajemos en equipo participemos con ellos y a veces uh, sucede que me escriben me dice teacher me dejaron solo me dejaron sola o alguien me dice no con la persona que me puso con esa persona yo no quiero trabajar eh, well I understand in certain point but um, Well, I guess we are ready to start. Misael is there too. Welcome, sir. A pleasure to see you again. Um, I don't know. Somebody else is there. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good to evening. see you. Okay. Claudia, uh, are you there? Do you fit the problem with your microphones? Claudia, Claudia. ¿Será que Claudia nos está oyendo? Sí. Ok. Before to start, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguien alguna pregunta, because later on I'm not going to speak in Spanish, because the class is in English, girl. If you have any questions so far from here, just raise your hand and ask me. And I'm going to give you what I think about what you are asking. No question? All clear, teacher. Everything clear. Okay, here we go. We are going to start now, then if you don't have any question. I don't know if you already uh, So the material, no sé si ya vieron el material. 
and the topic. Yes or not? Be honest and tell me, teacher, I was, I was reading some information about the material and I found this topic and, and so on. The topic is about the product life cycle. Oh, okay, but I'm, I'm talking about in a general way. If you already uh, take a look at all the topic. Teacher. Si ya le dieron una miradita por ahí. Hello, sir. Tell me. Uh, I don't have the model three. You don't got the material? Yeah, the material download by uh, WhatsApp. Okay. But in the in the website, the uh, English corporative, I don't have the model three. Ah. Pero el, ya el manual sí lo tiene, ¿no? Yes, yes. Ok, ahorita creo que con el manual en ese nos vamos. Ok. Ok, ok. Here we go. Ok, this is video conference number one. We are going to talk about product life cycle vocabulary. But first, I would like to show you this picture and I need that you tell me what do you think about this picture? Just tell me, teacher, may I participate? We have two different sides. Excuse me, Mario. Is the role of success? Ah, okay, okay. What can you tell us about the pictures? Imagine this is uh, this is you, and everybody is seeing that you got success. This all, is uh, all the things you, we have to do to, to have su success. Okay, but people don't see it. Yeah, of course. People don't see hard work, uh, line night, tired. They only see when I finish to 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 speak in English uh, with their friends, only, yes. only only see that. Yeah, but they never they never think about all the effort that you make. The not effort, sacrifice, in... everything. Okay, thank you, somebody. I want to talk about the picture. Uh, teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, the first picture, uh, the very face of the of the people. But in another back to that happy face, have a effort for obtain uh, the premio award. Okay, the hours. Okay, thank you, somebody else. No? No, teacher, only that. Me, teacher. Who say me? Who say me? Uh, me, Misael. Okay, Misael. Um, actually, this picture uh, represents what big companies do every, every year. Uh, what takes my attention is the hard work and the failures actually through failures we can uh, be a better company a better organization and that's what takes my attention about this picture 
Okay, and also the risk that the company takes in order to create a new product. But at the end, only people see the new product and and, and they never uh, think about all the situation that the company had to do in order to create it. Okay, thank you very much. Let us continue talking about this topic. But, um, let me see. I got a question. Take a look at these pictures. And uh, I have a question. Which of these 12 countries have you been to? Choose one, two, three, all depend. Have you ever visited one of, uh, of these countries? No. No, never? Never. Okay. Never. Ah. Okay. Um, but you would like to visit, right? Sure. Which one would you like to visit? Uh, the first one I would like to visit is the United States. United States is America? Yep. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? I would like to visit Japan. Japan, okay. Nice. Somebody else? Only two? One I would like to visit Germany. Germany, okay, nice. Would like to visit Germany or French? Okay, French. Okay. I would like to visit uh, Brazil. Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Okay. Teacher, I would like to visit Japan, but only one thing. Mm. For Cerezo. What? Excuse me? I would, I would like to visit Japan, but only for Cerezo. Solo para conocer los Cerezo. Cerezo only to Madrid. see the trees. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más? At the moment that you tell me, for example, the first one said, I would like to go to the United States. You are telling me how far you would like to go. And the same is going to happen with this module, how far you want to go in order to increase your vocabulary, in order to uh, develop your skills. Anybody told me Canada, United Kingdom, China, India, I don't know why. But in my case, I would like to visit all those countries. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read it. Uh, who wants to read this paragraph? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. I had been to French Street. The first time was when I was 11 and the second time was six years ago. I have never been to America, but I want to visit my friends. I haven't been to India or Brazil yet. I have been to Canada. I live in Canada for weeks. I went last February for one week and also one week in 208. I've never been. Hmm? You missed this line. In Canada for two 
and I half year. I have also been to Spain. To Spain twins. I went last February for one a week and also one week in 208. I never been to Japan or Italy. I am going to Germany in the summer with my sister for on with the country. I want to go to I want to go to but haven't been to is Holland and I hope to go very soon. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read again. I have been to France twice. The first time I was when I was 11 and the second time was six years ago. I have never been to America, but I want to visit my friends. I haven't been to India or Brazil yet. I have been to Canada. I live in Canada for two and a half years. I had also been to Spain twice. I went last February for one week and also one week in 2008. I never been to Japan or Italy. I am going to Germany in the summer with my sister for one week. The country I want to go to, but I haven't been to is Poland and I hope to go very soon. Okay, what, what can you tell me about this paragraph? What can you infer about this? Just chair, what is the meaning of this sweep? Sweep? To fly twice? Sweet? Twice? Mm -hmm. twice? Yes. Dos veces. Ah, thank you. Once is una vez. Once. Mm, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, what can you tell me about this uh, this paragraph? ¿Qué me pueden decir de este párrafo? It's a biography of travels. Okay, okay, nice. Something else? Algo más? Take a look at that. He traveled too much. Hmm. What else? The person has a lot of money and time to be around the world. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. But take a look at the paragraph. There is something there that you are not paying attention about. He don't, he don't have money. He doesn't in, have money? In, in the actually. Ah, he's broke now because he spent a lot of money. Okay, let, let me show the next slide. Maybe there you can, uh, okay. Okay, take a look at this. What can you see there? Now it is clear for you. Emphasis uh, countries. Uh huh. Okay. Okie dokie. What else? Okay, somebody else wants to read it? But what do you consider that is the main purpose that I show you this paragraph? To know all the country, the pronunciation maybe of mm. countries. Yeah, could be, could be, but there is something, there is something else. I algo más. <clears throat> okay. I'm Dates going to... in in age. Mm. I'm going to give you a hand. Now you have it clear. What, what is happening there in that paragraph? Present continuous. Present continuous? I have been. No. No, no, it's continuous. missing the word. A simple press. Now simple present. 
is past. Present perfect. El tablero del pasado. Present perfect. Sorry. Present. Misael. Past participle. Misael said the right one. Present perfect. Continue. Present perfect. Present perfect. We are talking about present perfect. And uh, what I'm doing is just refreshing, uh, refresh your memory because remember in the previous module, we talked about this and I need that you keep in mind the way that we are going to create the present perfect time. I had been different slides. The first time was when I was 11 and the second time was six years ago. I had never been to America, but I want to visit my friend. And also you had the, the, the negative form here. I haven't been to India, but I'll see you yet. Okay, take a look at that, please. And try to remember. Okay, let me switch because I need to go. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Take a look at this. <clears throat> what can you tell me about that chart? We got positive and negative. Uh, and at the same time, I got four personal pronouns here. In order that you can remember that we are going to use I, you, we, and they with have and having. And you are going to use he, she, and it with has or hasn't. For example, you can say he hasn't, he hasn't been to friends or he has been. Yeah, you can say in that way. That means that we already got uh, positive and negative sentences. And also we got the question form that we are going to put uh, the auxiliary at the beginning and then you are going to have the personal pronoun and the compliment. Have I been to friends? Has she been to friends? Okay, take a look, take a look at that. Remember, this is uh, just a review. And when we are going to use it to talk about experiences at some time in our life, yeah? And you can see here the past and the present is here. And, and also uh, when it's not important, when is not important there. And also we've got the poem. It is uh, equal to say half or half um, plus the past participle. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, and we are going to make a, a kind of review with this exercise before to start with the topic. According to my lesson plan, I need to make a review about this in order to start with a new topic. And I already got an example here. The example say, break, my, uh, break your arm. Yeah? And the speaker A say, for example, say, but open, have you ever broken your arm? And somebody else say, in this case that we got the same uh, book and the same topic, okay? Yes, I have, no, I haven't. But what about how you are going to use uh, present perfect in this in this uh, sentence, Klein and Monte? How you are going to ask a question? Okay, I, as you can see, I got twenty five. Como ustedes pueden ver, tengo veinte cinco, and you are like twenty three, I guess. So please, uh, you can take one for you. And you are going to you tell me. Clean a mountain. Okay, Mario, 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 just tell me the, the, the number. Yeah, I take one. Ah, the, the, clean a mountain. Okay. Somebody wants to answer the question. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes, I have. No, I have. 
Ah, okay. Okay, Wendy, number two, Wendy. It's up to you if you want to create a positive, a negative, or a question. I have, I have been written a book mm. or reading. Mm. Reading. Okay, remember the structure that we are going to follow in order to create a positive or negative. Microphone, microphone. Okay, take a look at this. In this case, you can, you are, you can use uh, another verb, but this is the way that you are going to use it. This is the auxiliary. I have, and the bird that you got there, it is, let me see. I have read in a book. What, what is the past participle of bird? I don't remember. <laughs> you need to <laughs> keep in mind, lady. <laughs> I have written a book. I have never written a book. Oh. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, number three. Who wants to do it? Be to a particular country. I already gave some examples. Ya les di algunos ejemplos. Be to a particular country. Right here, you can put uh, the name of the country. Me teacher, I try. Okay, okay, okay. I it's a question. Ha have have you have you been negative. to have you been to Spain? Okay, the question could be right, but the way that you are going to be to use B two. Let me go back again and show you. Take a look at this. Been to friends. Right here, you are going to put the, the name of the country. Because remember that we are going to use the past participle of the verb be. Recuerde que aquí vamos a usar el participio del verbo be. Yeah? I never been to Japan, for example, somebody could said that. Have you ever been to Spain? Okay, what about number four? This is gonna be the last one, I guess, because we need to talk about something else. How can I create a sentence with this verse? In negative, for example, how you are going to create it? Negative, negative. Tell a lie. I have never told a lie. I have never told a lie. Okay, bingo. That's right, okay. That is only just to refresh your memory. Okay, let's go. Okay, right here we are going to start talking about the topic for today. And we got some question. The first question is, have you ever uh, participated in the development of a new product? The second one says, what is a product or service that your company has recently introduced to the market? But let us see the third one. Who wants to tell me something about this question? Let us focus your attention in the number one, please. Have you ever participated in the development of a new product? 
Yes or not? Tell me. Let me see your faces. Okay, first of all, you, you need to understand what is the what is the question about. In the in the workplace. Yes. In our workplace. Yes. Or maybe in another one, in the previous one. Participate oh, employees. Employees participate in a new, introduce a new product. Okay. Uh, depend the, the company. And also depend on the product. Depend on the product oh, or the company. Yes. Yeah, but remember the question, have you ever participated in the development of a new product? ¿Alguna vez ha participado usted en el desarrollo de un producto nuevo? What is the product or service that your company has recently introduced to the market? In my case, it's difficult. Uh, no, uh, maybe because, because it is travel, travel, travel tickets and new, new fly. And, and you don't produce any new product, right? Maybe no, new, pro new fly. Yeah, may maybe you produce new services. Yes. Okay, new I, got you. I got you. Okay, somebody else. I need that somebody else answer this question. Ok, lo veo así como muy shy, no sé por qué, pero bueno, los que ya estuvieron conmigo saben que me gusta que participen todos. ¿Tienen sí, ideas? Ok, María Elena. Maybe in my case, in my job, we okay. development projects. Ah, ok, you develop only projects, not products. No products. Ok, I got you. Okay, somebody else wants to say something about this? Come on, I need a you talk. Anna Lillian wants to say something about it. Okay, go ahead, Anna Lillian. Never, teacher. Never? Never. Okay. My word is, uh, is the tramit. In an office? Yes. Okay. Okay, so Maria. In my company, in my company, we we made two breakfast. Ah, okay. Two make breakfast. Yeah. Ah, okay. That means that you can answer the second question can talk about the second question. What is a new product or service that your company has recently introduced to the market? As you can see, the previous topic that we started had to do with the, with, 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 with the question that we got here. Have you ever participated talking about the present perfect? And also uh, talking about has recently introduced to the market. Okay, what can you tell me about that? Remember that uh, in this model, module, we are going to talk about different uh, product and even uh, talking about marketing and also e-commerce. Also, we are going to talk about that. For that reason, I need that you get familiar with this um, kind of term because in that way, it's, it is going to be easy for all of you to understand the topic. Okay, if you don't want to say something else, let us go next. We are so close to check up the, uh, the attendance, but let me show you this. 
time time is flying now. Okay, remember, have you ever participated in the development of a new product? Yes or no? No, I never had. I never have participated. Okay. What is a, a product or a service that your company has recently introduced to the market? Maybe if you work in a restaurant, a new dish, if you design something, maybe it's a new item, preparing for the season that is coming, you are creating something spectacular in order to, to, to call the attention, you know? Okay, here we go. Take a look at this. This is the second uh, activity that we have there. Look at the definition of the stage of the product life cycle and match them to the appropriate phase. Check your answer with a classmate. What you are going to do is just read and try to organize according to this characteristic that we got here. And don't worry about it because we are going to discuss later on. Uh, at the moment that you are going to be written in your material, I'm going to check up the attendance. Okay, try, try to, to look it up in your material and let me check up the attendance again. Okay, here we go. Adriana del Carmen. Adriana. Hi. Hola, hola. Hi. Yeah, say present. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Ana Lilian. Present, teacher. Okay, Ana Mariela. Present. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. Present. Ah, okay, okay. Adjust the volume. Okay, Francis. Francis. It is. Here it is. It's not here. Jose Jonathan. Present, Mr. Lazo. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura. Laura Carolina. Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. No está Mayra. Zaira. Zaira Recinos. Recinos Deportivo Zaira. No. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay, Misael Cañas. Present teacher. Eh, Maribel. Wendy Present Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Sulaima. Yesenia Lisset. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto Villeda. 
present teacher. Ah, he's there too. Okay, welcome, sir. Okay, here we go again. Let us continue talking about this. Okay, try to read uh, every chart. For example, the first one said the product is no longer attractive for many customer. Sales stop. And the producers are making decision about discontinuing the product, buying out competitor or selling it to another producer. What, what do you think that could be? Could be decline, could be grown, be marketing introduction, maturity. Okay, okay, what about the second one? At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product may be low and marketing effort try to develop branding, quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. What about the third one? The ground is in sale decreases because there are many competitors. Market saturation occur. The marketing effort work to differentiate the product and prices might not might might be lower than in the previous stage. And the last one said the new product registers an increase in the month because more customer accepted. The sales start to grow and there is a little competition. And also we have uh, four different states here. If it is difficult for you to, to solve it now, don't worry. You are going to have time in order to do it. Yes, just get familiar with the, with the words, with the term. And with the information that I'm going to share with you, you are going to have a, a better idea in order to, to look for, 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 the, for the meaning of this uh, words, you know? Because remember, this is the, this is the stage. Look at the definition of the stage of the product life cycles. Okay, I don't know what you can tell me about it. But if you say, no, we don't have any idea now, don't worry about it. But at least uh, you get familiar with the, with the, with the term. Hello? But, but what are, let, let us... Answer, answer or not? Okay, remember we got A, B, C, and D. And then you are going to choose one of this. No, my question is answer in this moment. Or... No, what, what I'm telling is this. If, if you if you can do it now, you can do it now, okay? Because uh, we need to match them to the appropriate phase. Uh, check your answer and with the classmate, we are going to check it later on, but, but I need to share with you some information because maybe for most of you, are, these are new. But if you want, we can start talking about this now. We, we can try to solve it. I'm going to give you like five minutes and in order that you can read it in your material and try to get some ideas about. Okay, les voy a dar un par de minutos para que lean eh, en sus materiales. And based on that, you are going to give me some ideas about what do you think. And later on, we are going, you are going to have the right 
answers. Okay, try to read it and try to match it with the words.
any idea Okay, let us see what you have. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to wait for the rest. Vamos a esperar a los demás para ver sus ideas, tranquilos. <clears throat> Michael for teacher.
Okay, what can you tell me about it? According to your knowledge, don't worry about it because this topic, um, we are going to continue tomorrow talking about this because you need to have a clear idea how we are going to, um, to see the different stages that a new product has. Just tell me, what do you have about the, how you relate it? Okay, what about letter, letter A? Which one is the right one? A is blank. It is? For you, letter A is? Blank. Ah, okay. The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Okay, decline is going down. Okay. Nice. What about letter B? Who wants to tell letter, me? Letter B is marking introduction to show. You say the letter B is? Market introduction. Market introduction, okay. Exactly. You are right. Why? Because if you see the material, You said that at this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product might be low and marketing effort try to develop branding. Okay, you are right. Let us see. What about let us see? Yes, that's what I can. Okay. okay, I got it. Three is the coin. It is the coin. This one? Yes. Mm. Let us see. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah, we are we are talking about let us see because we already we already talk about this one, right? Yes, the clean. You say let us see is, is decline? Yes, it's decline. Case uh, is grow, 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 yes. Ah, okay. Right here mention something. And what you need to do is just to place the word, the ground in sale decrease because there are many competitors. It's maturity. Excuse me? It's maturity. This one? Letter C? The letter C is maturity. Yes, maturity. Yes. Entonces, it's a mala plataforma. No, it's decline. My goodness, let me see your face here. Okay, where 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 you are? Okay, why 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 do you say there is decline? Tell me the reason why. Convince me, because uh, the 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 gentleman is right. Uh, let us see, is maturity. Why? Because. So it's the decrease. Because uh, the growth 
in cell decrease because there are many computators. Market saturation occur. The marketing effort work to differentiate the product and prices may be lower than in the previous stage. It, it is in the process, you know? Yes. Okay, and the last one, letter D. What is the uh, letter D? The new product register an increase. In yes, the grow. Because more yes. customer accepted. Right here is getting your answer. More customer accepted. The cell start to grow. And there is a little competition. Okay, now you already got the order. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, ahora los vamos a poner en orden para que usted pueda uh, ya marcarlo si, si ya lo tiene impreso, si no lo deja anotado ahí por su. In your notebook, you can have it. Because I, I, I need that you, you keep in mind this stage. Necesitamos que les quede claro cómo funciona. Okay. Um, use it. Letter A is with. Dijimos que letra A iba con. Decline. Decline. Okay, let, let me throw a line. Let me throw a line. It's going to be this right here. Okay. What about letter B? Teacher. Tell me. Really? I'm sorry, I, I got your message. What about let it be? Market introduction. Okay, uh, this is market introduction. Okay, Ms. Ail is rising uh, his hand. What about let us see, Ms. Ail? Uh, I have a, I guess I got the Wendy's point of view. Mm -hmm. um, I'm checking the, the exercise at the platform and actually number one takes the client as one answer. Mm. So I, I, I was checking right now and actually that happens. I don't know if you can take a look at that later. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm going to take a look later on. Yeah, because as number one, I say the decline and it, it takes it as wrong answer. Really? Okay. Okay, what about letter C, maturity? You say this one. And the last one, we say in this one. Okay. But according to what you are saying, we need to check it in order to be sure. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me let me see it. Let me take a look of it. We are getting the run answer, maybe.
or maybe I can show you the, the material that I got and it's gonna help you. And I like that you are trying to solve the problem in the platform. Let me try to get into the platform. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, module three. I got it. Product like cost. Okay, you got five question. Exercise 1.1, right? Ah, oh, you got, yes, let, me, let me see, you got uh, four questions. You got four questions, right? Okay, the first one that you have there said, the product is no longer attractive to for many customers. I don't know if you got the, the same the same question in number one. Did it the same or not? I have number one. The product is no longer attractive. Ah, okay. But the one that you are telling me that is from is number. Uh, I have number one and number three. Number three. Uh -huh. Number three is the growth in sale decrease. Mm -hmm. uh, because there are many competitor market saturation occur. The marketing effort were for differentiate the product and prices may be lower than in the previous stage. And according to the the material we have it in a different way, right? Uh -huh. And actually, it's the number one, the ones that I can find the the answer because the product is not longer; it's declined, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if I can share my screen. Yes, you can do it. Let, 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 me, let me give you the chance to do it. I got your point. But before, uh, well, if you want, you can do it now. I can. Uh, right now, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 you can do it. This you one. Do it. You can do it now. Yeah, the number one is there, okay. Ah, but, but let, let me see. The correct Madri, Madri. Okay, okay, oh, big. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, I got it, I got it. Sorry. Uh, so this one is, uh, okay. I thought it's, all right. <laughs> okay, let, let me show you something and then you are going to get Because a... I don't understand. <laughs> So, for the platform. The FBI. Okay, 
Okay, let me show you something there. You are going to have a, a better knowledge about this topic. And you are going to compare with the information that we got in the material. We are going yes to take a look because um, we are going to have a lot of information about this topic. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Let me get bigger. Okay, this is the introduction state. Must product fail this state? Why? This is the stage in which the product is initially promoted. Public awareness is very important to the success of the product. If people don't know about the product, they won't go out and buy it. You know, this is like an introduction. But uh, there are two different strategies you can use to introduce your product to consumer. We can use penetration, and at the same time, we can use scheming. And we, we, we can have some ideas about that, okay? When we talk about penetration, this strategy is usually set the product price very high initially, and then gradually lower it over time. This is a technique. This it's a good strategy to use if there are few competitors for your product. Profits are high with this strategy, but there is also a great deal of risk if people don't want to pay high prices to make lose out. Okay, but let us get uh, right here the scheming. Uh, let us see what, okay, right here we got uh, some something that has to do with growth. The stage where your product start to grow. In this stage, a very large amount of money is spent on advertising. You want to concentrate on telling the consumer how much better your product is than your competitor's products. What are the way in which you could prompt a product? It is a question, but right now we need to identify all the stage. If you are successful with your advertising strategy, then you will see an increase in sales. When your sales begin to increase, your share of the market will establish. But what about maturity? The third stage, the product life cycle is the maturity stage. If your product completes the introduction and growth state, then it will then spend a great deal of time in the maturity state. During this stage, cell grown at a very fast rate and then gradually begin to stabilize. Okay, and the last one that is the decline. And now you are going to compare. This is the state in which uh, sales of your product begin to fall begin to fall. Uh, either everyone that wants to have bought your product or new marketing innovative products have been created that replace yours. Many companies decide to withdraw their products from the market due to the downturn. The only way to increase sales during this period is to cut your costs Reduce your spending. I don't know if with this, you already got uh, some ideas about what we are talking about. It's, I don't know if it is clear or you got some doubts. So, so, con si, con sa. <laughs> but also, um, According to the lesson plan, uh, have you seen in the material? Let me show you the book. In the material, you are going to find out a link. I was encontrar un link. Let me see if we are here.
And in this link, we are going to have the chance to see. Okay, it is in, in, uh, on page 10. Está en la página número 10. I already got it uh, here. Let me show you, let me show you because we need to read it too. Wow, somebody said it there, okay. I got it in a, in a Microsoft Word page. And right here, you are going to have a clear idea. Of score, we need to read all the, the we need to read um, all the items. But if you want, you can read it in, in, in online if you want to do it in that way. Hold on a second, please. So was I, I, I can share, I can share in the, In the platform because of the moment that I need to upload the videos, I'm going to have some problem for that reason I can do it. But let me do it in a Microsoft. Okay, uh, we, we need to read this material in order to have a better idea. Uh, of course, uh, right here you are going to find down not only just the, the base information, but also you are going to see some diagram like this one. And these are the four stages. This is the market development in one year. Uh, right here we got that state number two did its growth. And also right here, you can see that the years that you are going to spend in order to do this score. The number four is going to be maturity and the number of, number three and number four is decline, you know. But we need to read it and, and right here we have some ideas about this. Okay, number one says say one market development. This is when a new product is first brought to markets before there is a proved demand demand for it and often before it has been fully proved out uh, technically in all respects sales are low and creeps along slowly that is the third one the second one we got the, the market growth Demand begin to accelerate and the size of the total market expands rapidly. It may also be called the takeoff stage. And the third one say market maturity, the demand level of and growth. For the most part, only other replacement and new family formation rate. And the full one said market decline, the product begin to lose consumer appeal and sell drift downwards, such as when baggy with loss out with the advent of automobiles and when silk lost out of to nylon. Okay, I guess uh, not all of you got into the, in, in, into the, the article. I don't know if all of you got the chance to read it. If you can, I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can uh, 
access there. And then we are going to, to share some ideas about, about these four states because I need that you have a clear idea about this. Because remember the topic that we are starting now. It is product life cycle vocabulary. For that reason, uh, you need to read the article and you got us uh, there in the chat, you can find it. You can read it. As I told you, tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic in order that everything be really clear. And another thing that I need is, uh, I don't know if you are going to have time uh, in order to read the whole article, in order to get some information about this, this stays, but also I need that you go to your material and you need to look for this, the following information. Necesito que vayan al material. And next is a number four, building vocabulary. You got, uh, let me see, 10 different words like appeal, growth, differentiate, discontinue, withdraw, take off, demand, bike off, fissure, saturation. Okay, what we are going to do today is that I need that you get familiar with this term. Okay, let me see what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do today is I got 17, and I got 10 different words or term. Let me create a breakout room. Okay, let me create 10. Okay, we are going to do this. Okay, first of all, um, you are going to get in pairs. I know you are going to get in pairs. Let me see. My goodness, somebody's alone. Okay, Maria Elena and Misael, you need to go to, um, uh, to the web and you are going to find down uh, what is the meaning of the word appeal? Only the concept. And if you can find some example, it's going to be good. Okay, the second one is going to be growth. Let me see who is going to be in this one. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to be Mario and Saira Marleni. Okay, Carlos Bautista and Maria Elena. You need to look for the, the number three. Differentiated. Okay, this continue is going to be. Let me see. Teacher. Hello, sir. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. We are talking about growth, right? Yeah. It, uh, what what number? Right Excuse me. Or appeal. I don't or, do you say uh, number two grow? Yeah, number two. Is that correct? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, number two. Just the concept and some example. That's it. Okay. Don't do we have to read it or tell now? No, I guess uh, it's only a word for, for two people. You can do it now. And if wow. one of you is going to have the opportunity to share the, the concept. If you are going to do it in the, in, in the internet, um, you just copy and paste and show us and explain us. It's because that the world grow, it's a... Uh... 
is to something start later and um, after that medium size for example um, big size so growing up yeah so yeah something, so something like uh, in, in the in like for example the trees for example okay. the tree uh, in this case a product is the company start with one one product and grow up the the products and make a new products two or three more in base uh the first one i got you i got you sir Okay, let me assign that the that, that, that number four and later on we are going to. Okay, Ana Lilian Reyes and Carlos Antonio. It is number four. Number five, Ana Mariela and Jose Jonathan. Number six, Ana Beatriz and Wendy. Number seven, Adriana and Juan Carlos. Number eight, Claudia Raquel. Number nine is Maria Concepcion. I don't know why you are alone. And at the end, and number 10, I saw somebody, but it's not right here now. Okay, try to get an information uh, and then you are going to share it, but related with, uh, with product, okay? Let me see, I'm going to give you no, no more than Five minutes in order that you can tell me something about this. Of course, I know that you already got some ideas. Excuse me. Ejemplo. Okay, en español y a colores, yo sé que ustedes tienen algunas ideas, pero me gustaría que eh, se indagara un poco online, que tenga relación el término con eh, algún producto, ¿sí? ¿Cómo funciona? Okay, here we go. Wendy. Wendy. Ana Beatriz is waiting for you, Wendy.
Are you not? What happened with you, Adriana? Tuve problemas de conexión un buen tiempo, entonces se, se cerró la página. Ah, ok. <laughs> sí, sí. Yeah, that usually happens, don't worry about it. No se preocupe, eso a menudo sucede. Sí, es, eh, ya terminó la sesión, ¿no? Yeah, we are close, just three minutes. Okay. Three minutes, but at the moment that I call you, uh, did you answer? No, no, I didn't answer. Okay, let me That's check. the problem I, I, I have it. Okay, I'm going to check it now and I'm going to report it. Maybe they okay. consider. Okay, hold on a second, please. What is your name? Adriana Medina. Adriana del Carmen Medina. Ah, the number one. You are, yeah. the, number, <laughs> you are the number one. Yes. Ah, but, uh, but I check it. This is the first. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. But at the same time, I'm going to write down here that you got problem. Okay, thanks. Hubo problemas de conexión. Tuve que abrir Zoom de nuevo y entrar con el ID otra vez como que estuviera iniciando. Entonces, me imagino que es problema de conexión. Sí. Ok. I report it. Ok. Perdón. is being recorded. Okay, because um, of the time, I know that all of you got the information, um, but because of the time, I know that it's really important for you to finish at the right time. Uh, try to keep the information and we are going to start talking about that those term uh, tomorrow because yeah, I don't I, I don't I don't want to take you five minutes in order to do this because you I know that uh, all of you work hard and need maybe some of you need to take your your food and something like that you know okay don't worry about this okay Adriana is there Adriana El Carmen Ana Beatriz. Present, present, present teacher. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Mariela. Present. Eh, Carlos Escobar. Present. Raquel, Claudia. Francis. Iris Ibet. Iris Ibet. Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos. Laura. María Concepción. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra. Mayra. 
It's not there. Saira El Eliana. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay, Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Yesenia. Carlos Alberto. Present. Mario Ernesto. Here, teacher. Okay, well, I guess uh, all of you got the information, try to keep it for tomorrow. Uh, we are going to continue talking about this activity and this topic. And tomorrow we are going to clarify some concept in order that you have it in the right way, in order that you can resolve all the exercises in the platform, okay? Teacher. Hello. Uh, I question, teacher. Tell me, uh, Ana Beatriz. A mí me sacó el internet, picha, y no escuché lo que íbamos a hacer con Wendy. Ah, ok. Les había asignado una palabra a cada uno uh, o a algunos en pareja. Y lo que iban a hacer era a... Uh... Permítanme. Ok, lo que iban a hacer era investigar en la web el concepto y algunos ejemplos relacionados al tema que estamos viendo. ¿Sí? Ok. okay. I, oh, yo sé muy bien de que algunos de ustedes o quizás todos tienen algunos conceptos ya, pero eh, no cabe de más el poder indagar alguna información extra relacionada a eso y luego la compartimos y de esa manera eh, vamos aprendiendo todos. Eso es, era, era lo que había que hacer. Sí. Well Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, uh, time is over. Uh, we need to to finish this session today. Um, and I need to talk a little bit with Adriana. Adriana is there. Okay, it's number one. Could you please stay at the end of the of the session, please? Just yeah. a, few, a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions apart from here about what we already talked about this topic. As I told you, don't worry about it. Um, tomorrow we are going to continue uh, talking about this. The main purpose is that uh, everything, um, you understand it in a clear way, okay? Okay, no questions? No, Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night everybody. And, and don't forget, uh, if you have any questions, just yeah. send me a, a, a message, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Photo. Somebody sending photos. Okay. Um, Adriana, como en el orden que tomamos el uno a uno es, usted aparece en el número uno, quizá por el orden de, de la letra de su nombre, uh -huh. I don't know, ok, y como estuvo desconectada un momento, eh, no sé si logró ver la, lo que hablamos sobre las uh, diferentes stages of the, of the process, no sé si logro ver. Eh. Sí, prácticamente logré ver, eh, vi el ejercicio de, de, del ciclo del producto, del ciclo de vida del producto. Okay, okay. Eh, me, justo me quedé eh, cuando estaba asignando los términos a las parejas. Ah, prácticamente eso. Sí, okay, sí, sí. O sea, okay. todo lo demás sí logré escucharlo. Logré anotar cuál era mi, mi término, okay. con quién iba. Uh -huh. eh, y justamente ahí en eso se... se, se Lost tocó. the connection. Ajá, uh -huh. ah, así es. Ok. Can you tell me what is the, 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 the term that you have to 
We said demand. Demand. Ah, okay. And I don't know if you had the time to look for some some concept or yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, I but, look in but, Google. What do you have? Okay, in Google it. Um, it's an economic principle um, referring to a customer's desire um, to purchase goods and services and uh, willingness. I don't know how to pronounce that. To pay a price for a specific product or service. Ah, okay, okay. I don't know if you if you are able to share your skin. No. Um. If not, I don't can copy copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Uh, okay, try to keep the info for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we are going to discuss uh, with with the class. Okay. And then you are going to to share with us what do you understand about the concept in your own words. So, okay. But but the 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 most important thing is that you got an idea about the term that you has investigated. Okay. 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 I guess uh, everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Um, tomorrow we are going to continue talking about this topic. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye.